North Greenville University is hosting its December commencement tonight. Our Rashad Williams is live with the story of one man whose degree is a reflection of redemption. It's all new at six. Rashad. All right, I want you to think back to your graduation day, college, high school, kindergarten. It doesn't matter. It gives you a special feeling. And 165 students are getting that special feeling right now inside because the ceremony just started at 6 o'clock. Kerry Sanders is among that group, and he says that this is more than just getting a piece of paper, but this will represent a second chance. Kerry Sanders is no stranger to Tigerville. And I used to terrorize this town. And as you may know, the town is home to North Greenville University, a place Kerry was once not welcome. One time I had a lifetime trespassing ban from here for vandalism and stealing. I ended up with a nine year prison sentence for armed robbery and um, I thought my life was over. By the age of 17, Kerry had been arrested 17 different times and during that nine year sentence, he earned his GED. When I was looking out of that prison um, window and all I could see was razor wire, I never thought that I would be earning a doctorate. Since his November 2013 release, Kerry has earned a master's degree from a different university. He's the executive director of Jumpstart, which helps men and women who were formerly incarcerated. And he was one of the first two people to receive a full scholarship for the doctoral program. But now I'm a homeowner, I'm married, I have two children, and I'm a productive member of the community. <music> From walking into prison to walking across the stage, Carrie has an opportunity to show everyone that taking steps in the right direction to change your life first starts with being given a second chance. I'm hoping those watching this tonight will um, see that they too can have a future greater than their past if they will make the most of the opportunities that they have right now and just step into them. Finding further redemption through education. No matter where you are, no matter where you come from, there is hope and there is change that is possible. I want to say that we live in a society that when people make mistakes, they mess up, they feel like their life is over, they're hopeless, they don't feel like there's a path to do anything significant, and uh, Carrie's story is one that there is hope. And Carrie will be receiving a doctorate of ministry. He says that he hopes to, you know, apply this and use it to continue to be a blessing to others. Live at North Greenville University, Rashad Williams, WYFF News 4.